Hey guys, what's up? This is Jack from Canyon Country Reptiles. Um, today we're actually going to be doing an egg cutting. Um, this is clutch number 15. But, I mean, they're not due to hatch. They weren't due to hatch until July 20th. It is July 14th. And we had one pip and come out of the egg already. So we're going to talk about this baby for just a second because this is from... Our bullseye project. So this is from a bullseye het genetic striped female. And she was bred to a leopard butterfly shatter and a leopard butter fire bullseye. So we could possibly see super bullseyes if that male got her. Um, but this is definitely a bullseye. Gosh, and yeah. you can see um, the bullseye patterns here down her back, which is why I kind of named that project bullseye. All these circular patterns. Um... And it also messes with the alien heads, kind of stretches them out, um, makes them a little wonky. Um, I think the gene, the gene is similar to like Blitz and Trick and um, Hurricane's a more extreme version, you know, but I think they basically all do the same thing, um, mess with the alien heads and stuff. But, you know, I dubbed this project like eight years ago, nine years ago, or however long ago I started it, Bullseye. Um, basically for that reason right there, I thought they looked like, you know, circular bullseyes. Um, we would encourage you guys to go back through and look at our videos. Yeah. We did one less than a year ago that um, he got out all of the, the mom, the grandma, the, you know, yeah. the whole line and really showed what it's done with a lot of different things. And so you can really see what that looks like on, with other genes as well. So, so, I mean, that's, that's the project. So we got four other eggs here to cut. There was a six egg clutch initially. One egg went bad. This one is already out. So we got four more to cut. Um, like I said, it wasn't due to the 20th, but you know, it got a little impatient almost a week early. Um, jumped. I actually had a clutch that was due before this one. Um, that hasn't even pipped yet. It wasn't due till Sunday. And that's another bullseye clutch. That was a banana bullseye to cinnamon. Actually have three bullseye clutches that we're due next week, but we're gonna cut, cut this one early. Um, but I still have two more bullseye clutches due next week. Um, so we're gonna. I'm know. just picking. Look at me. Sorry. Oh, I didn't get your scissors. I get my scissors here. I want this one. And we're gonna get into it here and see how they look. See what we got. I mean, you can definitely tell. I mean, even for that one pip, these other eggs most definitely can be cut. So, and that that baby's nice and healthy and I actually put this clutch put this clutch in with another clutch. They were laid the same day and I was running out of room in the incubator, so there are two small clutches. I put them together in one dish. So I actually got another clutch in the same dish, but you know, I was expecting to cut them on the same day, but I guess not. So let's see. Wow. Um, thought that was shatter almost for a minute, but maybe I can definitely see butter and fire. Mm. Um, can't see enough. It's hard to see bullseye on the animals until you get the whole thing. Until you get the whole snake out, it's you're just getting a little bit of the little bit of the animal. It's hard to tell. I'm going to say that's a, at least butterfire. Um, don't see anything that says shatter right off the bat from that could have been that dead. And I'm not, like I said, hard to tell bullseye as well. <laughs> so let's do this one here. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I don't know what happened to the camera there. It cut out, so we'll figure out. I mean, it might look weird in the as you're watching it, so um, I'm not sure what happened. This might be part two video. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. Okay. This is leopard, pastel, and that pattern looks pretty crazy. I'm going to go out on a limb and 
probably say bullseye leopard pastel bullseye i'm gonna guess possible hat genetic stripe on top so that's a pretty funky look look at the side mm -hmm. of that. that's woo, wild <laughs> i can see the head down in there mm -hmm. but that's a pretty crazy looking little bit of the what we can see on it all right oh Good. my uh this one See what we got here. Oh, that's right there. I thought that was that might be. Man, these are some funky looking. Wow. Well, you know what? Maybe the second male got her. Which was oh, leopard wait, butterfly. That could be. I'm gonna man. That could be <laughs> leopard. Um, wow, that's so cool looking. Leopard Firefly Super Bullseye. Because look how dark the dark is. That like, is look. insane. Didn't we think we, we hit another super on one of our other... Yeah, last year. I mm -hmm. thought I made a banana super. Well, I had two. I thought I hit just a plain super and a banana super. And look how black the black is on that. Like that the is... inside and the... That is crazy, crazy. I know my friend uh, Francis out there is freaking out about this snake right now because he got <laughs> it. He was one of the early ones that got into the Bullseye Project. Haven't forgotten about you, Francis. I mean, this snake is crazy. Gosh, I'm excited to see what that one looks like when that all is, comes out. That is nuts. This is awesome. That's an awesome looking. I mean, look at the nose, how dirty mm -hmm. black it is right here. I mean, that's yeah. just. That could be another super. That is. Wow. <laughs> that is nuts. All right. And the last egg. That, la that second uh, one we cut, too, that pattern looked. Weird. Pretty weird, too. Mm -hmm. I mean. That could be possibly some supers. I mean, I don't know. This project is there. That's definitely, no, definitely bullseye. Definitely bullseye. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing. Wow. That's. I don't know if there's anything else on that. Really? That might be fire. You know what? That might be fire. Oh yeah. That's that's. I see. It's it. lighter. It's fire bullseye. Yeah. But again, the blushing across the mm -hmm. back. That could be a super too. I mean, look at them. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, man. If you can't tell, we're a little excited about this clutch now. I mean, this is... Oh, that head is not just a fire. That's now that you see it like that. There you go. Is it? Like it's... Wow. I'm just liking all the... Look at all mm -hmm. the black and the, the fire contrast on that, but the blushing going across wait, the wait, spine... Wait. Hold on, hold on. Is that there? Wow. That side. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. I mean, usually that blushing, that's telling me probably that might be a super too. Wow. This clutch just got, this gene just got a whole lot more interesting and I was freaking out about it when I first started it. Wow, let me see here. Let me hold on. Bear with me here, guys. <laughs> so, I'm going to say those are all bullseyes. Possible. I mean, it could be supers. From the second dad? Oh, yeah, definitely from the second dad. The first yeah, dad didn't have bullseye in it. Right. So, that's what you're saying. Man, now that you get that one back out, that one's not quite as black. Yeah. And that doesn't have I me. Mean, it's got a little blushing, but not as much blushing going all the way across the the spine as some of these guys in here. But mm -hmm. wow! And then the other one has the other one. I don't think I honestly now looking at it. I don't think it's bullseye. Mm -hmm. 
Um, that one's bullseye, and I, these three could be supers. This this snake is freaking nuts. <laughs> I mean, see the see the blushing here. Mhm. Mm I mean, and then you got the blushing along, here. Along the mouth on that one. Right this on. one might not be super. It just might be a really crazy leopard. Have we seen that before? We haven't seen leopard bullseye, right? Uh, no. Mm -mm. Um, yes. Yeah. We did? Dad was a leopard butterfly. Oh, bullseye. that's right. Yeah, that's My where bad. the leopard came from. But just leopard and bullseye, just without no, anything is... else piled on it. That might be, that might have fire. I think this is leopard because it's so light. Mm -hmm. That's leopard fire, bullseye. Um, there's no pastel, though. That one almost looks like it has pastel on it, but neither one. Neither one. I don't know. Gonna have to wait and see if they come out now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the first dad did have pastel, so maybe that came from the shatter dad. Well, I'm. I know you were saying this was super, but when I was looking at those spots right there, right back there, like that, that, that looked shatter. shatter. Yeah, I mean, and right there, see. Could shatter and bullseye like look weird? Work well <laughs> together. I mean, either either way, these these three snakes are freaking amazing looking mm -hmm. um wow i'm super excited either way i mean i wanted to get shatter on bullseye so i mean that's kind of why i started pairing him but then he stopped locking with her and i threw that i just threw the other male in one time at the very end and she ovulated so that Leopard, butter, fire, bullseye dad was only locked with her once. Mm. And the shatter locked with her, I think, six or seven times. Gotcha. But maybe shatter and bullseye react crazy. Because that's kind of what that looks like right in through there. I mean, you know, this I mean, this project is so in its infancy. I mean, this could be for some crazy thing. Shatter and bullseye could be allelic. It could make some freaking wild looking, super looking. I mean... Just throwing it out we there, have, right? Yeah, we. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still lots more breeding trials to do and, you know, all kinds of stuff to figure out with this project. But, I mean, these babies are insane. So, I mean, once they come out, we will do the follow-up video. As always, I mean, stay tuned. I'm really, really excited to see these guys out of the eggs. Um... So we'll do the follow-up soon, and until next time, thanks for watching.